kienet screams in caves. Kif għedt il-kom għana nal-Landru li jen? Hi, how are you? Good, in this house. So, um, Ian and Andrew are, well, you've formed alternative obsessions. That's right. Um, we basically, well, I moved across here around six months ago and we're, I was kind of in search for what we got back home. And that was um, great live music. And basically we come across VGen uh, in Patchville. And kind of from that, we've kind of wanted to bring what we miss so much back home, but at the same time promote the Maltese music. Yeah, um, well, the same. We've come, both come from the same scene back home. Um, and having, I came out here just a bit, about a year or so ago. So. Did you know each other over there? Or yes, we've you known met each here. other for about, oh. about 11 years yeah, or so Yeah, unfortunately, now, so. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've known each other for that long. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's, there's kind of like a small group of us, seven of us involved, and we've just kind of come together for kind of the love of the alternative scene, and we're just trying to create something new, but at the same time, get the more well we've seen quite a lot of great Maltese talent yeah I was going to ask yeah, you um, yeah, uh, what have you noticed about the alternative scene since you've been I mean you've been here longer um. yeah um, well I think it's uh, underrated to be honest with you I mean it, it could be a, they could have a lot more fans um, regarding a lot of the bands that we've seen you know like we went to Festa with and that was a really good turnout but then we've been to a few of the other the other events and um, this you know it's just like why isn't there more people here you know you've got this really good um club in vgen um and there's just there's hardly anyone there you know and it's just like if you had something like that back home it's packed you know we're, we've come we come from nottingham so um there's about three or four decent clubs here that put on good club nights and and so on and they're always they're rammed every every single like tuesday thursday saturday you're guaranteed the whole club or the bar is rammed full of people that are just, you know, enjoying the music, you know, getting drunk, enjoying the music and just partying, being happy. I've got an idea of so nothing coming. <laughs> Robin Been Hood to the Rock City, too, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's where we basically grew up. In yeah, that, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um... <laughs> but you have <laughs> So, um... Uh, Let's. So, um, wh which which were the bands that um, well, not are on your list, but mm -hmm. which impressed you? Uh, are there any bands that impressed you? Yeah, Maltese definitely. Maltese bands that impressed you. Um, basically, when we went to Festa Week, we were blown away by a band called Control. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if anyone heard of Control out there, but you can find them on Facebook. I mean, they completely blown us away for our first event. We really wanted them to to get on board. Basically, uh, they're kind of like a punk pu a punk rock band, uh, and also we noticed Drift as well. Um, they kind of had a big following, and their music was awesome, wasn't it? Everyone's dancing around, and that's the kind of fun that we like having. We like yeah, to dance yeah. around, and that's kind of what we missed. But B and I as well, they was pretty decent. There was um, they're a really good band. I really like those. We wanted to get those on at some point with one of the bands that we're going to be bringing out. Um, but it's just they're really busy at the moment recording a new album so um, also the riffs as well I wanted to try and get on those get those on with some of the bands we're, we're promoting as well so they're uh, I in fact saw one of the guys from riffs earlier I was speaking to him um, Raven and yeah. he was he's coming along to the to the event he's really bigging it up and helping us push it and saying you know just like well done to you guys you know you're bringing something different you know it's Malta needs this kind of thing so yeah it's uh, it's good it's, it feels it feels good to kind of like kick up a little bit of dust you know the for me the, the scene seems quite dormant here you know it's uh, it's alive but it just needs a little bit of dust kicking up um, and hopefully that's what Alternative Obsessions is going to going to be doing, you know, bringing bands over, kicking dust up, and yeah. Well, we've kind of got we've got contacts all over Europe, and basically bands are hopping on board just as soon as they hear Malta, that they they kind of light up and oh yeah, we'll definitely want to come over yeah. and. It's and playing Malta. Uh, we've got the sun, we've got the gas. Ah, so. yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I think it's the sea and the sun. You know, a, lot of, a lot of the bands seem to go to Italy a lot. 
um, a few other bands we've contacted have gone, oh yeah, we've been to Italy, you know, we've, you, Germany, France, etc., etc. But um, they say, yeah, you know, I'd love to come to Malta. Even even some of the guys we've contacted um, over in the US as well, they're wanting to include us on the European tour. So uh, that's brilliant, you know. We're yeah. we're on track for something. We're we're getting something going, you know, creating interest. And I mean, you even Andy went back home to uh, at Christmas time, and he, we, you went to a few gigs, didn't you, in the maze? Mm. And um, he ended up speaking to somebody who has already heard of us over here. She was just like, "Oh, you you guys are contacts in uh, in Malta." But yeah, I mean, you're the thing, yeah. To the, explain I that mean, the story. thing is, we're kind of getting chased now. Um, the kind of buzz has gone around the alternative scene in the UK. And we're getting approached by, I mean, fairly big band, bands that have played at festivals like Leeds and Reading Festival are contacting us. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's a there's a big hype for it, and we're just looking Definitely. to get these people over. Just hope, I'm, I'm hoping just the you know the the Maltese can come out and support us. You know, so it's uh, it's not just about us. It's about you know it's about the whole island. It's like come on down to the first event on Saturday, which is Random Hand. Come on down to that and uh, come show your support and. You know, just come and see a, a great band live. I'm well, just, um, I'm just hoping Random Hand aren't turning up tomorrow with sun cream and, you yeah, know, shorts and t-shirts. <laughs> I hope they've looked at the it's weather very, prior to this. It's very British. <laughs> but before we talk more about the launch for tomorrow, these are Drift. This is Rocking to Resist. <laughs> well, um, next Saturday, so it's next Saturday, the launch for. Fourth, alternative yes. obsessions yeah um, that's two days time i'm not going to ask you why why you called the b the group alternative obsessions because we're obsessed <laughs> with alternative <laughs> music, basically yeah <laughs> so tell us about the launch okay uh well as we've uh, said the headliner is random hand um the support is drift and control um, the tickets seven euros um, for yeah for pre pre sale tickets and on the door it's ten euros. Um, we will be opening the doors at eight o'clock and just going on until I'd imagine about five a eh? yeah something like that. So um, yeah, there's going to be a. I mean, try and get down early, guys, because um, we're giving away a hundred uh, Bobby's tattoo studio vouchers. Uh, and that'll get you a bit of discount if you're planning on getting any tattoos or anything like that in like yeah, the future. Yeah, um, it's definitely worth uh, doing that, getting down to the So what happens if the same guy just goes in now, turns and then says no? <laughs> He's going to have a lot of tattoos. Yeah. Or a big one, yeah. Uh, we'll try and remember. <laughs> <laughs> we could always do you it. Know, like, don't drink too much beer and we, maybe we'll remember. <laughs> um, but I'll, I'll tell you a bit about Random Hand. I mean, they're a well-established UK band. Uh, they played at Leeds and Reading Festival last year. Uh, Rebellion Festival, Mighty Sounds Festival, I mean these guys are a well-established uh, yeah. band and with them they kind of bring a lot to the stage, they've got punk, ska and metal influencers so there's kind of a little bit of something for everyone there and to see them live, I mean they really do put on a show Yeah, yeah. you're going to be aching the next day if you're coming along uh, Well in the meantime we'll listen to a track, come back for fantastic. a little chat and listen to another track from you um, This one's Roots in the Crowd <laughs> Ma mill-album tal-2009 inhale exhale da kienu il random hand li ħana rawhom nar is-sibt next Saturday the launch random hand playing live yeah uh, after after random hand um, we've kind of got a uh, DJ set going on we're going to try and throw an after party uh, and basically you guys should really try and stay behind for it i mean we're going to party till we drop basically definitely tune after tune uh, and we've got a friend called Jakes who's part of the team and he's really good at the, I don't know if you guys know, the dance move, the worm. Um, he's like a professional at, at doing this dance move, so he, we're hoping he's going to do it on the stage yeah, and definitely. kind of I mean, teach. just ask him to do it and get, um, just get some, just get him going, you know, chant his name, Jakesy, get, get on the worm and then yeah. I'm sure he'll do it and then he'll be teaching people through the yeah. night as well, so, yeah. Uh, we'd just like to kind of put it out there to come and speak to us at the DJ booth. And so he'll teach anyone for a point? For a, yeah. <laughs> or a cuddle, he likes cuddling as well, he's one of these guys who likes to cuddle. Um, but, um, yeah, we've, we've kind of spoke to the owner at VGen and he's, he's quite happy to throw some drinks off us in after, after the uh, kind of random hand have finished to kind of keep people there and we want to kind of 
kind of turn it into a club night and just keep people partying, really. It, well, there's drink offers all night anyway, isn't there? Yeah, like, yeah. Um, just on Carlsberg and stuff like um, two for one kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, just come down and just, uh, like you say, drink till you drop, dance, mosh, hug, cuddle and do the worm. So, first band on? Uh, control. And they're at, on, on, at what time? Yeah, we're looking at half nine um, for control to go on. Um, and then I think the set's normally about 40 minutes. Yeah, something like um, that. And then drifter, drifters around an hour and then random hands around the same. So, um, yeah, so it should be one, uh, it should be a crazy night. So all the bands are obviously staying behind after as well. So um, the random hand are for partying as well, aren't they? So stay behind, get your drinking hats on and uh, just keep going till sunrise, I guess. So let's have another listen to random hand. This one's called In. Kim fakkar kon fli studio anna lil Andrew Lillian tal well it's not a group alternative obsessions what do you call it it's, it's a, a team a team of seven of us that team alternative obsessions was this uh, the stripes what was what, what, the color you playing <laughs> 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 okay. we wear no clothes <laughs> oh <laughs> tell us where your your next game is so we'll be about 50 miles away anyway <laughs> So, uh, I'm not going to ask you who's the next band you're bringing over, but um, the, this one is, well, Random Hand has got punk, skunk, metal, Little alternative, you name it. So, so you, you, you're venturing even into metal and... Uh, yeah, we want to kind, of, kind of hit the whole alternative scene as a kind of whole instead of sticking to one area of alternative music. Um, and our next event's going to be beginning of March. Uh, we have a confirmed that. We don't really want to go into it at the moment, but we will be announcing that in the next couple of weeks. Uh, and they're a fairly well-established band uh, from Holland. Oh, um, they're bringing tulips with them, then? <laughs> they're bringing a portable bar. Why? You've got one. Uh, no, no, basically they're going to put uh, that up on stage and they've got, I um, don't want to spoil it too much, but it's right. going to be something new. There's going right. to be a we'll bar keep, We'll keep it for March. Uh, yeah. And... Uh, What's your personal favorite uh, music? I know you're into alternative, but there's so many alternative, different alternative yeah. bands. So what's your favorite? My favorite scene or alternative kind of music would be ska punk. Same. Yeah. same definitely. <laughs> yeah, so we grew up with the same thing. So it's, you know, it's hand in hand, really. So we've been to the same clubs. We've listened to the same music. We've done loads of gigs together. Um, You've been in the same brawls together, so <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty pretty much the same kind of scene that we're both into, isn't it? Really. So grew up with it, and you know, like like I said, we, you know, like a lot of different kind of styles and um, different genres, but um, it will all go down back down to kind of ska, kind of punk music. So um, in the team, we've got like I say, there's another five people in the team, and they're kind of from the other the other kind of aspects say, oh, we should bring this band over, or we should bring this band over. Mm. So we are venturing out from what we normally listen to or the events we normally go to and venturing out into different different areas of the alternative scene. But until then, we'll have another random hand trick. Uh, Let's do it. This one's Mass Producing Monsters. Mass producing monsters. Um, that was random hand. Next Saturday, yep. the alternative obsessions launch. That's our big launch night um, at VGen, uh, Voices of a Generation, uh, in Patchwell on Ball Street. Um, like I say, we're opening the doors at about eight o'clock. Uh, it's ten euros on the door, but if you want a pre-sale ticket, uh, that will save you three euros. That's seven euros, uh, and you can pick them up from Bobby's Tattoo in Budgeba. Um, also at Freeway Surf Stores, uh, and also at VGen. I know you're DJing on Friday night, <laughs> so uh, yeah, if you're there, pick one up. Um, yeah, like we say, we've got a random hand from the UK and local support from Drift and Control. In the meantime, this is Trice and Yellow Belly. When we come back, we'll say our goodbyes. Goodbyes. <laughs> <laughs> so, as Roger Hudson said, famous last words. <laughs> See you there. <laughs> Get on down, that's it. As much group hugging as we can uh, inflict. And Jake's doing the worm.
Thanks for coming over. Um, well, I'll see you Saturday for sure. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Hopefully we can drop by again sometime. Oh, well, ne- next gig then. Yeah. We'll, we'll make it, that, a, yeah. Make it yeah. an appointment then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring the beers.